Imagine a moment where heaven grows silent and an angel sounds a trumpet that brings not just a warning but devastation. This is the sixth trumpet of Revelation, a moment that shakes the earth to its core. And it's not just a story or a distant prophecy, it's a future reality the Bible tells us will come to pass very soon. Revelation 9:13 to 19 describes this terrifying scene. Four angels, once bound at the great Euphrates River, are unleashed, unleashed to kill a third of mankind. Let that sink in for a second. A third of the world's population, wiped out in what can only be described as an act of divine judgment. But these angels aren't acting alone. They command an army, a terrifying force of 200 million soldiers. This isn't a regular army, but a supernatural one. John, the writer of Revelation, struggles to even find the words to describe them. He says their horses have heads like lions, and fire, smoke, and sulfur pour out of their mouths. It's a nightmare beyond anything our minds can imagine. And the devastation they bring? It's swift and it's deadly. John says that one-third of humanity is killed by the fire, smoke, and sulfur that spew from these creatures. Can you feel the weight of that? We're talking about billions of people, lost. It's sobering. It's chilling. But here's the part that grips our hearts the most. You'd think that after witnessing such horror, people would turn to God in repentance. You'd think they'd fall to their knees, crying out for mercy, for forgiveness, but they don't. The Bible says, The rest of mankind, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of the works of their hands. Revelation 9.20 They cling to their idols, their sins, their rebellion against God. This is the tragic state of humanity's heart, a heart that, without God, can be so hardened, even in the face of unimaginable suffering and loss. It's not just the physical devastation that's terrifying, but the spiritual blindness. Even as death surrounds them, many will still refuse to acknowledge their need for God. The sixth trumpet reminds us of the urgency of the gospel. It's a call to the world to wake up to recognize that there is a time coming when judgment will be poured out on the earth. But for now, there's still time. There's still grace. There's still an opportunity to turn to Christ, to be saved from this wrath to come. If this passage leaves you unsettled, that's a good thing. It's meant to shake us. It's meant to remind us that God's judgment is real, but so is His mercy. The sixth trumpet is a warning, but it's also a plea. A plea to turn to Jesus while there's still time. Stay strong, like, share, and subscribe to Grace Prophecy Network.